Well, in this week's True Crime Tuesday, we're digging into a new book that true crime fans won't be able to put down. The best new true crime stories, crimes of famous and infamous criminals, is a deep dive into cases featuring celebrities and public figures from around the world. Author Mitzi Soretto joins us along with Alicia Holland from Murder in the Rain, who was a contributor on this book. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hi. Thanks so much for joining us. Mitzi, I, I want to start with you. What made you want to dig into public figures for a book on true crime? You know, I think it was inevitable that they would be on my target next. <laughs> I mean, this is the seventh book in the Best New True Crime Story series, and each book's been a different theme. Um, and, you know, our culture is really obsessed with fame and celebrity and all of that. And, you know, I think we hear more and more in the news about a lot of these people who we've put up on pedestals are being knocked down very quickly. So uh, I thought it was an interesting uh, subject to make it for the um, seventh uh, volume in the series. It is so fascinating to look at these people that you think you know. You see them, you know, on, on TV and movies, and, and there's a whole different side to them. Uh, Alicia, who, whose true crime case did you dig into? Tell us about the story that you contributed on. Yeah, I decided to go with Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, who was an actor in the early 20s. And I thought that it was... A, a very well covered story and almost kind of old news and when I first was going to be a contributor in the book I started asking a couple people I asked my mom I was like well maybe Fatty Arbuckle and she was like who and then I realized that that story has kind of faded away with time and it seemed like in the times we're in now where there are allegations being made and there's not always proper investigations that even though it's 102 years old it still resonates today. So interesting. Mitzi, uh, were there any that really surprised you, these stories with public figures? Um, well, actually, um, <laughs> the case that I covered uh, surprised me quite a bit. Um, I actually covered um, a rock star uh, from the UK, Wales, technically, um, who I had actually, uh, I used to listen to his band. Uh, and I just happened to come across, um, I, you know, when I was looking for my own story, because, you know, I'm the boss of the book, I always put my own story in the book, too. <laughs> uh, so when I was researching, and I came across his case, I was just completely uh, gobsmacked. Smacked. I just, I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my God, I've been listening to these guys. And I promptly deleted every piece of music I had on my laptop that was them. But um, yeah, I, I don't want to give too much away. And, and this is morning television, but um, I, this guy has to be one of the most heinous people I've ever run across in true crime. Oh gosh. Yeah. It, this sounds like the kind of book that it's going to have you looking at people a different way for sure. Um, Alicia, so for, for fans of the book, you've got an event coming up here next month month. Tell us about it. Yeah, at Maggie May's Bookstore, which is in downtown Gresham, and they just changed locations, uh, we are hosting an event where I'm going to read uh, part of the story regarding Roscoe Arbuckle, and then we'll do some Q&A and uh, a book signing if that interests people. But I figured having the podcast and we have so many great local fans that I decided that would be a really fun way to say hi to people and get to meet some people while uh, sharing these stories. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, so everybody, Mark your calendars for March. And then Mitzi, if, if people pick up this book and like I said, they're not going to be able to put it down. If they're fans, you've got many other stories that they can dive into. Yeah, uh, there's uh, stories from uh, people all, you know, I, might, I have an international cast of writers and an international cast of criminals. Uh, and each book's very global in that way. So even if you think you know all these people, you're going to find cases you've not heard of. So that's that's a fun thing. And, and I don't think anyone else is really doing anything on this much of a global scale. Yeah, there's always more to the story. Can't wait to, yes. to get into some of these. Well, thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Great to talk with you. Thanks Thank so much. You. The book is The Best New True Crime Stories, Crimes of Famous and Infamous Criminals. You can find it today wherever books are sold.